Hey, it's Robin from Rose and Lily. Today I'm going to show you how to make this strawberry cow. She's super cute and cuddly and this is honestly one of my kids' favorite toys. The first thing you'll need is some super chunky plush yarn in three colors. So a primary color, a secondary color and then a color for the horns. You'll also need a small amount of medium weight black yarn for the nostrils. Then you'll also need 12 to 15 millimeter safety eyes, a USG crochet hook, a yarn needle, scissors, polyfill and preferably some stitch markers. The stitches you need to know beforehand are single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, magic ring, chain stitch, slip stitch, increase, invisible decrease and then we'll also be doing a color change. Next we'll get started on the pattern. Remember if you want to keep up to date with all my latest pattern releases, please click like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're going to start on the hooves and then work our way upwards. So we're going to start with your secondary color and we're going to do six single crochet in a magic ring to start. Pull the ring tight. Then I like to mark the end of each round with a stitch marker. In round two, we do two single crochet into each stitch. In other words, we do six increases. And that brings us up to 12 stitches in round two. In round three, we start with three single crochet and then we do an increase and we do that all three times to get 15 stitches. At the end of round three, we're going to do a color change. So stop halfway in the last stitch of the round. So here's the last stitch of round three and I'm going to cut the yarn. And I'm changing over to my primary color. And I'll be doing the next few stitches over the tails from the color change. Now for the next four rounds, so that's rounds four to seven, we're just doing 15 single crochet around. So that's no increasing. And I'll do these four rounds off camera. After round seven, on the first leg only, we are going to do a slip stitch to close and then cut the yarn. And I'm going to mark that slip stitch with a stitch marker. Now you're going to do that all again for the second leg but don't slip stitch or cut the yarn to finish. So I've just done the second leg and now I'm going to chain three. Now we're going to join that to the first leg. So find the stitch after the marked slip stitch and we're going to do a single crochet into there, working over that tail from the first leg.
This single crochet also forms the first stitch of round one of the belly and I'm just going to put a marker in it. Now we continue with the belly. We've already done one stitch of the belly and now we continue with 14 more single crochet in the first leg. And the last of these goes into the marked slip stitch. Now we are going to crochet into the chain. There were three chain stitches, so we're going to do one single crochet into each of them to make three single crochet. Now we're going to do 15 single crochet into the second leg. And we finish off with 3 single crochet into the chain. The last stitch of round one goes just before that marked stitch on the first leg. And I'm just going to mark this stitch here. Round two is going to start in this marked stitch here. And we're going to start increasing. So in round two, we do five single crochet, and then an increase. And we do that all six times to get 42 stitches. When working with super chunky yarn, you can sometimes get these holes when joining the legs together. If this happens, you can just sew them closed with one of the tails. In rounds 3 to 7, so that's 5 rounds, there's no increasing, we just do 42 single crochet around. And I'll do these rounds off camera. Now we're going to start decreasing for the top of the belly. So in round 8, we first do 5 single crochet. And then we do an invisible decrease. And we do all of that six times in total to get 36 stitches in round eight. Round 9 is just 36 single crochet around. In round 10, we do 4 single crochet and then a decrease, and we do that 6 times to get 30.
Round 11 is just 30 single crochet around. In round 12, it's 3 single crochet and then a decrease and we do that 6 times to get 24. Round 13 is 2 single crochet followed by the decrease and we do that 6 times to get 18. If the piece is getting quite small now, you can stuff it after round 13 or in my case I'm going to stuff after round 14. In round 14 it's a single crochet and then a decrease and we do that 6 times to bring us down to 12 stitches in the round. So now I'm going to stuff the body and the legs. Make sure to get stuffing all the way down to the bottom of the legs. In round 15 we're going to do the neck and it's just 12 single crochet around. In round 16 we are doing 2 single crochet into each stitch. So that means we're doing 12 increases which brings us to a total of 24. In round 17 we do a single crochet and then an increase and we do that all 12 times to get 36 stitches. In round 18 we do 5 single crochet and then an increase and we do that 6 times to get 42. Round 19 is our last round of increasing. So we do 6 single crochet and then an increase. We do that 6 times to get 48. Now for the next 5 rounds we just do 48 single crochet around. And I'll do these 5 rounds off camera. Now we are going to start decreasing. So in round 25 it's 6 single crochet followed by the decrease and then we do that 6 times in total to get 42 stitches. At the time of filming I didn't have the safety eyes available, but you will add them between rounds 23 and 24 about 10 stitches apart. In round 26 it's 5 single crochet and then a decrease. We do that 6 times to get 36.
In round 27, it's four single crochet and then decrease. We do that six times to get 30. In round 28, it's three single crochet followed by a decrease and we do that six times to get 24. In round 29, it's two single crochet and then decrease. We repeat that six times in total to get 18 stitches. In round 30, we do a single crochet and then a decrease and we do that six times to get 12. Now I'm going to stuff the head. Make sure to get stuffing into the neck so that the head doesn't wobble. Round 31 is the last round of the head. And we're just going to do six decreases, which will bring us down from 12 stitches to six. Just work slowly here because it's quite small at this point. At the end of round 31, you can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a bit of a tail. Now we're going to sew that hole closed. Go through the front loops of the stitches from round 31. and then pull the tail tight and that will close the hole. Then you can insert the tail into the head just to a few places to secure it. Now the body and the head are finished. Next we're going to start on the arms. And once again we start with our secondary colour. In round one, it's six single crochet and a magic ring. Pull the ring tight. And as always, I like to use a stitch marker at the end of each round. In round two, we do six increases, which brings us up to 12 stitches. In round three, we just do 12 single crochet around. But stop when you reach the last stitch of round three because we're going to do a color change. So I've just done my 12 stitches in round three and I've stopped halfway through the last stitch. And I'm going to change to my primary color. I'm going to do the first few stitches of round four over those tails from the color change. So in round four, it's two single crochet and then a decrease. And we do that three times to get nine stitches.
In rounds 5 to 8, so that's 4 rounds, it's just 9 single crochet around. And I'll do these 4 rounds off camera. Now we're going to stuff the arm, and I like to stuff the arm only about halfway. Now we're going to close the top of the arm. So fold the top of the arm flat, and then we're going to do single crochets across both sides, all the way along the top of the arm. Now we can cut the yarn, making sure to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. And you'll make the second arm exactly the same way. Thanks for watching part 1. I'll put the link to part 2 in the description box.